Kyle Heliard. Yeah. I'm very excited to talk to you about this game called Astrobot. Yeah. And the weird thing is, PlayStation VR exclusive. And there have been plenty of people who complain on this podcast that we don't talk about VR enough. Some people complain we talk about it too much. <laughs> I guess that was back during the year of VR cover story and all that stuff. Uh, but, They've all gone away at this point. Yeah. But, you know, we talked about Beat Saber a little while ago and it's like, yep, yeah, that's, that's a great game. It's super fun. All yeah. right. Moving on. It was kind of uh, my, my feeling on that one. Mm-hmm. Astrobot. He's the little character inside Mega Man's head. <laughs> it's pretty kind close. Of, yeah, it's, it's close enough. It's just a 3D platformer. I played through it in one sitting. I brought the PlayStation VR home. All five uh, Yeah, worlds? it was wow. like six hours or so. Yeah. Um, just blasted through it. It was up till two in the morning. I just love this game. Uh, how much have you played at this point? Uh, three out of five. So okay. like, I'm on the third. I'm ha- more than halfway through. Okay, what do you, what's your take on this thing? It's good. I, I've, I'm, I've now been assigned... To the review, thanks to you. Because oh, <laughs> you played it, and you're like, "All right, we, everyone, we need to review this." Which, Everybody, which is good. I, I really like it. It's, uh, it's, um, it's really good. It's, 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 it's structured a, a bit like uh, Mario 3D World, I would say, in terms of like how the camera moves and follows the characters well, and things like that. Yeah. Beyond that, I just think of it so much as a 3D Land successor. Yes. Just because absolutely. of yeah. like, imagine 3D Land, but all those like clever gimmicks tricks that they do for the 3d it's like oh that's really smart that's really smart imagine that but blown out into much much more interesting and very tech like vr is where yeah. it's just very pure 3d platforming but then every once in a while the oh this is really clever oh i have to do yeah. it this way oh this feels completely different it's everything i loved about 3d land but just magnified it and it does it kind of has that nintendo feeling to it like 100%. 3d land is like a good line to draw i mean it, it is definitely a game that is fun for the sake of fun like it's not super challenging and there's like lots of like 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 there's like cool tech things that you can do and mm-hmm. like the way you like you have one action where you can like shoot out a zip line from your controller and like the way you use that to create like paths for your little character to walk along is really cool and the, but, the, but there's still like uh it, it, kind of like moss which is another if you really like this uh, you might want to check out moss oh, really? actually okay. um which is another like uh third person platformer kind of action game um but it does it does still have you like playing with your neck a little bit like you're playing the game with your head which mm-hmm. so, hmm. like there's a line where sometimes it goes like a little too far In and some you think um sometimes yeah like like i don't really like i like having forward momentum i don't really like stopping and like turning around and looking behind me where you hear like because basically it's mario 3 land meets ape escape well you're here like yeah. the little astrobots that want to be rescued they'd be like help me okay help me. And then, and and yeah I, I had a couple moments where i was like looking around like where that where is yeah this thing, we have you know? to do the full look behind you that's where it gets a little bit much yeah. when you're like trying to control astrobot at the same time too yeah. but still like the small stuff like Oh, I think there's like a little hole over here. And yeah, like a little, walk into little that bit of leaning, the t- and then like when you're moving through, and you can kind of headbutt things. Like yeah. that's okay. I, li- I like that. Like it's it's really fun, and it, it like I d- I do like the way you use the controller in the world. Like you're controlling the character, and then like you have like a, a like a water hose where you can spray things with the controller and stuff like that. It's yeah, it's cool. I like it. I I really like. I found because I did a big uh, speaking of VR. If you want more VR in the uh, uh, maybe an issue or two ago, I did a big like multi-page like, hey, here's a bunch of really interesting VR games that are happening right now. Yeah. And like kind of just diving deep into a bunch of VR stuff, I found that I really like third person VR. There's mm-hmm. like this temptation to just always do first person. And and there are some cool first person experiences, but a lot of the ones I really like are third person. Like I like this, I like Moss, I like um there was the the Insomniac game, Edge of Nowhere. Oh yeah. It's really underrated, I feel like. I yeah. think that game is really cool. And I even I was talking at PAX to Justin Roiland who's doing uh, Trover Saves the Universe, right. which is another third-person action VR game. And I was talking to him about that. And like, I think that is like a really good direction to go. Like, It's not the first thing you think of when it comes to VR, but I really like controlling character in third person and being, uh, kinda, being able to overlook them in virtual reality. I think mm. that's a really it's what, effective way to do VR. Yeah, it's early on. I remember we gave Newell saying that. They're like, we don't know why, but just messing around with VR tech, it turns out that a really captivating thing is being the big person looking at tiny little objects. And there is just something so unnatural but fun about yeah. just controlling a little astrobot. And like, if you look at him too long, he'll like turn and wave at you. It's just so adorable. Do you think uh, it's like this God complex or something? Or 100% like, maybe. You feel like you're, it's very empowering. For the first time, I feel like I'm somebody. An astronaut <laughs> taught me that I deserve to rule over me. I mean, yeah. and, then, and then Moss kind of does this too, which is like you as the camera effectively the camera like are a character in the world in the yeah. game like uh, interacting with the character that you're controlling so it's it's cool I, I i've been enjoying it for sure it has like a very nintendo mario mario vibe yeah, there's nintendo which is a strange thing on a sony platform 100 and including just that level of polish like it reminds yeah. me of just 
man, Sony really forked over some production bucks for this thing. Like, it's to the, it's not to the same level like a God of War or Spider-Man, but in that vein of just, like, Sony really nailing it this year with yeah. first-party stuff of just making this thing that is so experimental, tries a lot of different things in VR alone, and it just... Everything feels solid. There's nothing annoying. There's nothing janky. It has mm. a Nintendo level of polish that I agree is bizarre to see from Sony recently. Yeah. It's, do you know who is the developer on it? Is it just... Yeah, it's Asobi. Um, okay. Not S-O-B, but Asobi, <laughs> which is like, uh, they did obviously the Playroom VR, which is where Astrobot originally yeah. came from. They also did the Rescue Robot Mission, or Robots Rescue DLC, which was for Playroom, where they first started experimenting with some oh, of these ideas okay, as a yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then this is basically the blown up version of that. But it's a bunch of like former... Um, well, there are like former Ape Escape developers on this team okay. just for that, that makes full a lot of lineage. Sense. <laughs> yeah, it does <laughs> yeah. remind me a lot of Ape Escape. Um, but then on top of that, the director, I would love to know more about him. He's a, he's a French lad named Nick. Uh, and he French also, lad. Yeah, and he goes back, like he's worked on iToy for a million years. Just okay. a bunch of that like... The more experimental side of Sony. The funky Sony side. Yeah, okay. it just feels like they knocked it completely out of the park with this thing. It's... It's one of my favorite games of the year. I'm excited, really? for, I'm excited for you to finish cool. it. I, I, wow. I've been enjoying it for Good. sure. Like I don't, you know, I'm going to pull the, the the full Dan Tack and be like not yes. ready to give my full impressions yes. yet, but uh, playing about half of it, I've, I've enjoyed it. It's I'm awesome. glad people keep reminding me VR exists. And like... <laughs> Reeves, honestly, any fan of 3D platformers, you should try and find a way to play this game. Yeah, I, yeah, I wish there were more games like this to encourage me to finally bite the bullet and buy a PSVR, but... Yeah. Since I have access to it, I should check it out. You're you should so when spoiled. when Beat Saber comes out on PSVR, just have just take it home for the weekend. Play play Moss, play Beat Saber, play Astrobot. Yeah, there we go. Kyle, I look forward to your Thumper. Review. But don't buy it. Don't encourage <laughs> the that, purchase. Of as the much VR as I love Astrobot, Bot, there's still a part of me where it's like, would I ever recommend a friend to buy it at this point? I don't if know you yet. have one already, by it's all means. great. Yeah. Find a way to play it. I don't care if that's stealing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you got to do, but you should try and find a way to play Astrobot if you like 3D platformers because it's oh, the final boss too is very good. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I like the bosses so far. That was just a clip from a larger show called The Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information, developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us.